Today we're going to go ahead and scrap this old Panasonic rear projection television. You can still find these floating around. People give them away free. Found this one on the side of the road. So that's what we're going to do today. I've got my uh, scrapping buckets and a uh, little coffee can sitting over here. We'll throw some parts in there. I won't bore you with taking out all the screws on this thing. I'll go ahead and get that done first. And then we're going to go ahead and get on into this. So let's get started. Okay, with some of the screws removed, you can see that most everything you, you're going to get is in the bottom of the TV. You can see basically we're starting to get into the parts here. That's going to be the power board and all the hookup switches. I'm going to go ahead and tear this down a little bit more and again, we'll keep on going. There's about a million screws in this thing and as you take out more and more, the TV uh, will separate into two distinct pieces. You'll have the screen and all of its components on the top and you'll have all the power and projection components down here on the bottom in this section. I'm going to focus on breaking down the screen first, so we will move on to that. So here's the upper half of the television. Lift this up here and you can see we've got a very large trapezoid mirror in the top of that case there in the back and the screens here in the front. The screen consists of a large piece of plastic and a Fresnel lens. We'll go ahead and keep that Fresnel lens for another project at a later time. Moving back into the bottom of the television, we've gone ahead and removed the projection bulb and a few more screws which reveal the speakers down here on each side. And there's a large speaker and a small speaker on each side of this television. We'll go ahead and get those removed and continue with this teardown. With the speakers out, as you can see here, we've uh, got a lot of vacant space here on the bottom of this television. So we're going to have to take out even more screws to get at even more of the internal components. So let's keep going. Scrapping a television like this can be extremely tedious. As you can see, I pulled out some more wires there and we're finally starting to get into the good parts of this television. And I think I've removed just about every other screw I can find at the moment. But we're going to want to get that those parts down there. So bear with me. Quite surprisingly, I discovered that I'd removed enough screws to go ahead and pull this entire power section loose. I didn't expect that to come out quite that easily. We'll set that aside to break that down a little bit further later. We'll see if anything else will just uh, pop out of here as easy as that did. No, that's still in there tight, and that section is in there tight as well. So, looks like I'm going to be taking out some more screws here in a couple minutes, because uh, that's not going to come out of there. And I guess I'll just focus on breaking down this, uh, this power section here. This is where all the uh, chips and uh, e-waste boards are going to be. So, we'll break that down all by itself. Upon closer examination, I discovered why they probably threw this television out. As you can see, they've got some bare wire there. That looks like it got chewed up by a dog or a cat. And you can also see here on the plug that it got chewed up. And that might have been the only reason this thing was sitting in the trash in the first place. With these last projection components pulled loose, it looks like I'm finally done with the bottom shell of this television. Except for that very, very tiny board down there i got to take out still. Other than that, I can finally move on to breaking down all these parts. So let me line these up and show you what we're going to be taking down. We've got our projection parts down here on the end and this entire power section down here on this end. That's about all the useful stuff besides that lens that you're going to get out of a rear projection television. So basically upon further breakdown, I've got a little uh, uh, low class board here. Not much use. Got the power section here, oh, a huge piece of copper if I decide to break that down and not sell that as one uh, giant piece there. And again, this uh, very intricate system here. I'm going to break it down and see if there's any lenses that I want out of there, but I'm going to move on to this next. Again, this is a lot of work if you're going to get into something like this because I am still tearing down that power section. You can see i got another uh, board there. That's a little higher grade board. There's a super low grade board, the uh, yellow one there at the top. And I still got to tear down all those lenses. So let's keep going. 
Okay, so at the end of this teardown, I got some really cool fans, especially this tiny squirrel cage fan. Uh, projection lenses, all types of those things. Uh, I'll be able to use that for something or other. A couple speakers, maybe sell them, maybe break them down for the magnets. A uh, bunch of wire. There's all the screws. And here's all the boards we got. Um, basically a lot of low to mid-grade boards. Uh, it's a low-grade board there. Again, that's the power board with all the copper on it. That's a power board there as well with the copper on it, and that's a low-grade board, the yellow one. Uh, some very, very tiny boards. Uh, boards out of the remote over here. I don't even know why I decided to take that out. Just kind of going to throw it in there for extra waste, whatever. All the plugs, and then the only one, uh, actually two, that's probably a mid-grade board there. Another low-grade board, very low-grade board, worth nothing there. And there's the only high grade board in that entire television. So that's what you get if you want to go ahead and try to tear down and scrap a rear projection television. Is it worth your time? Maybe, maybe not. I just thought I'd share. Okay, the video is over. Get back to work. You've got stuff to do. You don't need to be hanging around here. But before you go, hey, how about hitting that uh, thumbs up button? Or commenting below. I'd appreciate it.